hard-wearing and meticulously tested, the Volkswagen brand used to conjure up positive qualities in French minds, qualities they regarded as typically German. The VW emissions scandal has shocked many of them, including Sébastien Lamer. He thought he was buying a clean, safe vehicle when he bought his Skoda, a brand that's part of the VW group. Donc. I bought a German car because the Germans are regarded as reliable and honest. But none of that is true. Their cars exceed emissions norms 40-fold. I hardly dare to put my young daughter in the car. La Mer's daughter has a chronic lung condition. With her in mind, he chose a vehicle that was said to have particularly low emissions of nitrogen oxide. Let me introduce my daughter, Eloise. She breathes through a tracheostomy. You can't cheat that. The carbon monoxide goes directly into her lungs and then into her blood. A computer program can't stop that. Almost one million cars in France are affected by the VW emissions fixing scandal. A recall campaign has been announced. Owners will have their vehicles refitted. But La Mer wants his money back. Volkswagen are burying their head in the sand. They haven't answered me. That shows that they don't have a technical solution for this problem. Many French drivers share his opinion and are suing Volkswagen. Some 3,000 of them have approached a high-profile lawyer who specializes in representing consumers in cases involving big corporations. The plaintiff's grievances are not purely financial. This is not just about the financial damage. Compensation will have to be paid for that. But people have also been misled by Volkswagen. Volkswagen has to pay for the moral damage. And VW has to pay the court costs. Up to now, VW was France's best-loved foreign brand. And some people's faith remains unshaken even now. The Beetle, VW's most famous car, enjoys a particularly loyal following. This driver says he's clocked up 400,000 kilometers in his. In the Beatles Club, there are even conspiracy theories making the rounds. BW is number one worldwide. That's why they're getting a drubbing now. It's not a coincidence. Envy is also playing a role. I'm sticking with Volkswagen. And I'm sure that if Volkswagen did manipulate things, then other car companies probably have done exactly the same. But VW didn't just make headlines in France because of the emissions-fixing scandal itself. Two agencies responsible for placing VW advertising in France also tried to muzzle the French press. According to the journalists involved, the agencies refused to place ads in newspapers unless they agreed to drop reports critical of Volkswagen. The French reacted with satire, rephrasing VW's international slogan, Volkswagen das Auto, with CO2, das Problem. The company and Germans in general have become the butt of French jokes. Germany is regarded as very straight. Germany doesn't have any debts. In Germany there are no strikes. When something does go wrong in Germany, even the most intelligent people feel a certain schadenfreude. It might be foolish, but it's true. VW's shiny German image has become tarnished. It'll probably take some time before the French and other nations as well forget the scandal. Sébastien Lamer, meanwhile, is looking for another car for his family. The cost for changing the car, he says, is VW's responsibility. À moi. Ah non, c'est à moi. Non. 